name's Jim, and I'm a gunsmith. The name of my shop is Gunworks in Down East Main, the town of Harrington. Today's rifle we're going to discuss today, taking apart for cleaning, is a Remington Model 7600. This is a pump action rifle. This also covers the Model 76 and the 760. So we're just going to get right to it. What you want to do is make sure before you start taking any gun apart is open the action up, ensure that the gun is empty, because you don't want to have any accidental discharges. So the magazine's out, we're looking up inside the chamber, we're ready to start disassembling this gun. First thing you'll do is you'll remove your handguard. Now, this gun's going to look pretty similar to the Remington 742 or 70, 7400 series that we've done in the video before, so I'm going to skip a little bit of the history on it. First thing you'll do is take the screw out of the front. Once you have that screw removed, set it off to the side, then you can just simply uh, partially cock the rifle back a little bit. Hold the bolt in place with your other hand here, slide the handguard off, and then lift it up and out of the way. Now, the tricky part of getting these things apart, this is not a magazine tube or a recoil spring assembly. All this tube does is give the pump a place to, go, uh, to sit on. It also holds the barrel in place. So you're going to have a series of holes up here. These guns are going to be pretty tricky and pretty tight, so you may want to make you a spanner wrench or find somebody, somebody that's got a spanner wrench. Um, if it's loose enough, you'll be able to take a punch, stick it in one of those holes right there, and get this work loose. Once you have this little tube, this little tube off the front loosened up pretty much, go ahead and drive these two pins here and here out and remove the trigger assembly. This assembly is going to be almost like the one in the 742. Set that off to the side. And we'll finish removing this. Now to get the barrel off, you just simply grab the pump mechanism, pop it forward, and remove everything out and set this off to the side. We'll go back to the receiver in just a little bit. And once you've removed this much of the gun, uh, the parts out of the gun here, just like on the 742, you'll just take and turn this sideways, being careful not to damage the rails here, and separate the barrel. Now, we'll get a little pin over here, a little pin punch. Now just like on the 742, this being a pump instead of semi-automatic, instead of having a, a charging handle on the side over here for you to remove, you're just going to have a pair of little pins. So to remove those, all you simply do is just reach up inside, push them out one at a time. There's one pin, and the other pin. Okay, once you have those pins out, just like on the 742 to remove the rest of the bolt from the bolt carrier assembly. Okay, let's see how well you'll be able to see this. Let me line it up where you can find it. You're going to have a little pin right back here in the tail of the bolt body that you're going to drive out. That'll allow you to remove the firing pin from the rear and then the bolt from the front.
that's a very small pin, so try not to lose it. Now that you have that out, your firing pin slides out the back. Your bolt will come right out the front. You have a little spacer washer there. And then you've got a firing pin spring that will come right out the back. Set that to the side too. To remove the butt stock from the back of the receiver, you'll have two screws here. These uh, Remington butt plates are plastic and they come in two parts. So you just simply remove the screws. Set those off to the side as well. You take a long flat bladed screwdriver, reach up inside, start turning the little uh, stock screw out of the back. We'll try to make this one a short, sweet, and to the point video. This is the model uh, 7600 or 760 Remington, completely disassembled for a good cleaning. Now, as I would said earlier in the model 742 video, I'm going to tell you right now, don't start messing with the trigger disassembly here because that's something you need to be a gunsmith to do. If you need to clean inside here, flip the safety off, put your thumb over the end of the hammer, pull the trigger and let the hammer forward. Get you some kind of little spray solvent to spray down in here and then blow all this out and Q-tip it. Blow it out with compressed air and clean it really good. This is as far as I recommend you take this apart. Thank you for watching this latest Gunworks video. Down East Gunworks is a full service fire and repair service for all your long guns and handguns that includes a high tech machine shop for tooling obsolete parts. Old or new, if you have a firearm that needs attention, Gunworks can probably fix it, solve it, code it, and make it work. If you're living in Down East Maine, come by the shop for a visit. We're located on Route 1 in Harrington. If you live elsewhere, you can reach us by going to the website www.downeastgunworks.com or calling the shop at area code 207-483-2175. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a comment and rate the video. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll always know when I've posted something new. And thanks again for watching.